Hey everyone, I'm Chris from Champion Helmets and today I have with me two Shui Neotechs, but one of them is slightly different than the other. So like I just said, one of these Neotechs is slightly different than the other, and that's because one of them is the Shui Neotech 2, and the other is the Shui Neotech 1. So this right here is the Shui Neotech 1, uh, the original Neotech, and this is the Shui Neotech 2, uh, the sequel, the newest one, and the better one, if we're honest. So, the original Neotech was released in 2011, and it quickly became a very popular modular helmet, really one of the top uh, modular helmets around. It really pushed uh, Shui into one of the best brands when it came to modular helmets. But they spent a good seven years working on the 2018 Shui Neotech 2. And in the end, we got a helmet which improved upon many of the original features of the Shui Neotech, while making sure that it still felt like a good, comfortable modular helmet. So I've reviewed the Shui Neotech 2, and you can check that out. There'll be a link in the description at the end of the video. But uh, in that, I really focused upon just this helmet and kind of like its competitors. But today, we're gonna focus on what the differences are between the original, and the second Neotech. And just for a fair comparison, this is uh, both in a matte color. This is the matte blue for the Neotech 2 and the matte gray for the original Neotech. And both are the same size, that being the size large. So I think that the biggest improvement between these two helmets is the fact that the Neotech 2 was designed in a wind tunnel. And that's something that's improved the aerodynamics, the ventilation and the noise isolation of the helmet. And with the aerodynamics, there's a few key little uh, hidden features on the shell of both helmets that really prove that this is a more aerodynamic version. First of all, I'll show you the chin bar on the original Neotech. And you have a little lip here, little lip there, I suppose. Nothing really adventurous or exciting. Whereas on the Neotech 2, we have on both sides a real uh, chin vent, sorry, a chin spoiler. And what that does is it helps to push the airflow better around the front of the helmet and also, I think it helps with ventilation as well. Uh, then if we go to the side of the helmet, you'll see on this helmet, the original Neotech, uh, there's a lot of gap between the visor and the shell. Like I can fit, I can fit my thumb in there actually. And then it just kind of comes here together on the uh, chin bar mechanism. It was quite, uh, kind of stuck out a little bit. It wasn't very smooth, which is very important for aerodynamics. Whereas on this helmet, the Neotech 2, you know, there's nothing really there. They've really sealed that up, brought the visor closer to the shell, and they've also brought it a little bit uh, closer here and given it a little bit more surface area. On the top, for the aerodynamics, we have two wings coming off the top vent. Uh, I think it also looks pretty cool, but it's also going to help with airflow, with, whereas here it was just nothing. Going to the back, we have two things as well. We have uh, a double spoiler on the Neotech 2, whereas here we had a single uh, spoiler, if you can call it that, um, mainly just an air vent cover, really. And then at the bottom here, it just kind of transitioned into the, really, the neck of the helmet. Whereas here, we have a little flare, and what that does is to help to push the air away from your neck and to away from the helmet. So clearly, the Neotech 2 is the more aerodynamic of the two helmets. And that's not the only difference. Like I said, the ventilation has also been improved on the Neotech 2. Starting again at the chin of the helmet, you'll see on the original Neotech that we have a little push to open uh, vent here. And it kind of cracks more than it opens. I'm sure you can barely see that move on camera. And then here on the Neotech 2, we have a big kind of like lip switch. That's easy to find, easy to use. And when it's open, it's gonna really push air into that vent and it's gonna be much better overall. On the very top, it's the same kind of story. Uh, this was a pretty decent uh, top ventilation piece. It worked well, but on the Neotech 2, they've just kind of ramped it up, and this is a much more bold uh, vent. Plus, it's gonna just better, be better at scooping air into the helmet itself. On the inside, we have a splitter as well, and it's just gonna better divide the air around the rest of the helmets. It's also pretty cool and uh, helps the aerodynamics. Coming around to the back, we have something that's uh, been removed with the new uh, Neotech 2. So on the original, you had this uh, 
openable and closable uh, rear vent, whereas on the Neotech 2, it's just always open. Uh, this is a more efficient design, it's better overall, and yeah, I don't think many people are going to really miss being able to close the rear ventilation on the Neotech 2. So noise was a little issue with the original Neotech. It wasn't loud, but it wasn't really super quiet, and there was definitely more quiet helmets out there in the modular helmet market. So with the Neotech 2, uh, they really improved upon that. All that testing in the wind tunnel, the aerodynamics, the ventilation has helped to make a more quiet helmet. And it is, if we're honest. The visor is much more quiet. It seals much better onto the helmet, especially at the top here. I showed you before how this one, you can you know, fit fingers in there. And that just helps to reduce whistling, keep air out. And you know, wind and air is the main cause of sound in a helmet, really. It whistles around your ear and that really, really bothers people. Fair enough, by the way. And they've just done a great job of trying to reduce it in a lot of different ways. On the bottom of the helmets, you can see that the neck roll uh, and the opening for the neck is just smaller on the Neotech 2. It's a bit bigger here, and that's just something that helps to seal you better into the helmet, make it a little bit more airtight. And you know, it's a big variable between people. I might have a thin neck, you might have a thick neck, and if we both have the size L, you know, I'm going to let a lot more air in, it's going to be a lot more noisy, whereas for you it's going to be a great uh, fit and it's going to be the quietest helmet you've ever had. So, you know, they've just tried to minimize that by pushing it up, and they've also given you some extra materials here which go underneath the chin strap as well. That's going to help to also just seal you better into the helmet, and it's also quite a comfortable material. Both helmets also have removable chin wind guard, uh, but on the Neotech 2 it's slightly bigger. So the Neotech 2 is definitely more quiet than the original Neotech, and this is, this is really one of the most quiet helmets around, uh, with the C4 Pro from Shoeberth and the AGV Sport Modular. I can't really tell the difference, but yeah, it's an incredibly quiet helmet, and they've done a lot to make sure that it'll be as quiet as possible for as many people as possible. And that's something that I really appreciate. So those are the biggest differences, you know, the aerodynamics, uh, noise isolation, and the ventilation. So I'll just list a couple of the smaller things now. The chin bar on the Neotech 2 opens just like any other modular helmet, really. Uh, just like the Neotech original. But on the Neotech 2, it has another position, which is a little bit harder to get into and to take it out of. But it sits up a little bit straighter, and it's a lot stronger. So for people who ride with the chin bar up, that's a nice little feature. This was still quite robust, but it was just something a little bit extra with the uh, Neotech 2. Uh, further, the position of the sun visor slider has been changed. It's a little bit lower. Not a big problem. Uh, but a nice change is that the sound that was made by the original Neotech uh, sun visor slider has been removed by the Neotech 2. So now you can move your sun visor and not have to worry about something grinding in your ears. Nice improvement, and I'm very happy with that. Uh, further, on the inside of the liner, you had two little uh, clips for the ne uh, original Neotech. You could sometimes feel them if you kind of tried to look for them, really, unless you were unlucky. Um, but I only really noticed them once I took the liner off. And that's been removed for the Neotech too. It's all just like, uh, yeah, snaps and that kind of thing. So it's a nice little improvement there. Then this helmet is uh, comm system prepared, so you can chuck your comm in. Uh, connect it all up and it should be good to go. Whereas on the Neotech 2, you have the SRL1 uh, system from Senna, which has been made to fit specifically with this helmet. So you can put it in here and here and here. And yeah, what that means is that you can't really connect other systems as well. But if you want the Senna SRL1, it's a great system and it's going to be pretty much just plug and play with the Neotech 2. So despite all the changes and the, the fact that this looks a little bit more aerodynamic, I think a little bit more robust as well, both helmets also weigh uh, the same at around 1,700 to 1,750 grams. So those have been the main differences, and I think pretty much all the differences between the two Neotechs. Um, the Neotech 2 has better aerodynamics, has better ventilation, and better noise isolation. All in all, it's the better helmet. That's not surprising, because this is the second iteration from uh, Shui of the Neotech line. And that's what you want to see. You don't want to see a second helmet go backwards. 
And yes, it is the better helmet. But is this a bad helmet? No, this is a, still a great helmet, you know. It's, it's from 2011 and it's a few years old, so it's not going to be at the top of the top anymore, but it's still a top of the line uh, helmet from its day. And it's going to have all the great features you want. It's comfortable, noise isolation is okay. Um, yeah, it's just not as good as the Neotech 2. So if you've picked this up recently or, you know, maybe you have one from a couple of years ago or whatever, don't worry about it. It's still a top helmet and yeah, if you liked it and this one uh, expires or you drop it or whatever, pick up a Neotech 2, you won't have any problem really. It's the same helmet as the Neotech, just better. And despite all those differences and those changes, both helmets weigh about 1750 grams each. So they've also remained pretty stable there. So am I right in saying the Shui Neotech 2 is better than the original? Uh, do you prefer this one? Do you prefer this one? Do you prefer neither? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, then give us a like. You can stay up to date with all of our newest content as well by subscribing to us, Champion Helmets YouTube. And I'm Chris from Champion Helmets. This has been our Shui Neotech comparison video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.